This takes only five minutes and farmers receive the results on their mobile phones. The new technology by Ujuzi Kilimo is promising to save farming costs and improve yields. Rita Tinina reports. At his Gatune farm in Nyeri, Joseph Mwangi is preparing for another cabbage, French beans and snow peas planting season. And he will tell you, times have changed. Now Mwangi is telling a different story, thanks to soil testing which he says may have revolutionized farming for him. Wakati nilianza kutumua udogo na ujusi kirimo, natumia fertilizer kidogo, in fact, he has become the envy of many farmers. Joseph Mwangi is among farmers who have embraced a new technology by agricultural data company Ujuze Kilimo, which uses this kit for soil testing and analysis. It starts with a three-minute registration exercise. At the Ujuzi Kilimo offices, I go through the process that firms have taken through. Just seconds after my details, including name and phone number, are captured in the system, I receive a message on my phone. The next step is the soil testing using the Ujuzi kit, which once switched on, starts by calibrating the nutrient sensors. So once it tells you to insert the soil sensors, that's when you put it in the soil. The kit uses light, temperature and ion selective sensors to individually detect and measure soil macronutrients. It has a SIM card and is GPS enabled. GPS is uh, located, it runs the, the tests as you can see, these are the results. The soil characteristics are saved on this motherboard, then relayed to the Ujuzi Kilimo Central database, which in turn sends the results to the farmer via an interactive SMS platform. In this case, I get a message on my phone in 4 minutes and 30 seconds. We've been able to reduce the amount of time taken to, like from the traditional lab soil testing, from around uh, two weeks to only five minutes as we've witnessed. We do test for the pH, the nitrogen, phosphorus, potassium, the electrical conductivity, that is uh, the salinity levels in the soil. Once results are obtained, Ujuzi Kilimo agronomists give recommendations to farmers on best practices. So if the pH is low, we recommend the amount of lime and fertilizers the farmer should use so that his soil can be conditioned or the soil can be corrected. On one farm, tests are carried out at different points to get the average. The soil test is free, but getting results and regular recommendations costs 1,000 shillings. Even if the result is the same, let's say for two farmers, but they have different soil types, the recommendations will not be the same. Because the way clay will react to lime is not the same way loam will react to lime. The technology was piloted in Nyeri and is now available in Busia and Muranga, where Ujuzi Kilimo works with agents. With research indicating that soil fertility has been decreasing over the years, with more than 60% of farms in the Kenyan highlands low in nitrogen and phosphorus, Ujuze Kilimo is hoping to encourage more and more farmers to embrace soil testing. In Kenya, I would say uh, we have only around 2% of the farmers actually uh, carrying out soil tests before they start their production. A one-of-its-kind agricultural data company in the region, Ujuzi Kilimo is out to promote predictive farming. But for the young innovators, trying to convince farmers who have for years relied on traditional farming to adopt modern agricultural technology is proving to be quite a challenge. Rita Tinina, KTN News.